Let's try d4. Hmm. e6 will go into a French. Let's try that. And um, let's go for Winoir. All right, we're not entering that. So it's going to be much more open position, and black will end up having an isolated d pun, I think. Saying on chess cube uh, after c5, this is the martial variation. Okay. E takes. If I take here, I'm helping black develop. Although I might take here eventually, maybe I'd want to do it after the bishop has moved. So let's take here to start, and I think just develop. Knight f3. Not sure what I want to do with my bishop. Probably bishop b5 in a quick castle. I'm going to go for that. Bishop check and castles, rook e1. I keep the tension until this bishop moves. <clears throat> This pin, is it going to be annoying? So much so that I should prevent it with h3. This could be awkward. Um, like, bishop here takes... Okay, well, I'm still not going to take here. What about this? Is that going to be annoying to pile up on that? Or what about bishop g5? Hmm... Knight here, I don't know how great an inconvenience that would really be. Knight e5, queen b6. Initially I thought queen c7, but bishop here. You could always just play to b6, though. I don't see any anything great about that. What about just rook e1? Or bishop here? I'm going to play bishop here. I don't know how great it is to have this. Now I'm really considering takes here or here. Bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. I'm really going pawn hunting doing it like that. Um, opponent's flying. What about... to do. Pawn takes, rookie one, bishop takes, bishop takes, pawn here. Is that really being too materialistic? Probably. It probably is. I'm going to take here. When the bishop recaptures, then there's still this pin to worry about. And maybe in the meantime, I could post up on this d4 square. <clears throat> maybe right away, actually. If bishop takes pawn, knight d4 is available. This knight's still pinned. I'm hitting the bishop and knight. And if when my knight moves, then I'm no longer having to worry about maybe some pin against my knight with bishop g4. So if bishop here, I, I think I want to do this. Bishop and knight are hit. Bishop takes, queen takes. They're still in a pin. Whoa, that must have been a mouse slip. I think they meant to throw a question to my bishop. They're not throwing out a take back immediately, so... Okay. I'm pretty sure I could just hang on to this pawn now. I'm going to do this. I, 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 I could play knight a4. Defends the pawn, but it's not strictly defensive. There might be knight jumps now since it weakened to b6. So... A6 is very suspicious. This is more common to just throw a question to the, the piece that's putting you in a, that has you in a pin. And now I'm just threatening to win uh, material, taking twice on C6. Bishop here starts to look kind of funny. This is a bit weakened. They're at least chewing on some time now. Three minute mark for them. Rook to E1. Useful move, logical move, open file. I'm not sure what candidate moves there includes for black. Bishop d7, queen here seems more natural. And I don't know how great a fan I would be of picking up the bishop. Okay, queen there. 
defends both of these. So maybe that was the idea. If takes the queen's there to recapture. But the knight is still in a pin. And actually, you know what? Now the queen is in a spot where she could end up in a fork. Knight b6 is, has a lot more appeal now. So he's definitely improved quite a bit. And he'll do so with tempo, I imagine. C3 versus B6, a very annoying piece. He's already annoying. There's two pieces in Black's position. A third one ready to be there. A fourth one not long off. And they're going in reverse. So strictly there to defend B6. But I could take here. I could take the knight, and if bishop takes, then I have this fork. And if pawn takes, that's very ugly. I'm going to go with this. And now place the bishop in a pin. My rook belongs here. Less than two minutes. Castle's queen side. The queen coming out here. Rook up and over stuff. Very appealing. Can't do it right away. My knight will have to do something. King there. It seems like it's asking for trouble with some fork. Rook takes, knight takes stuff. I think I just want to take here. I think the knights are the better pieces in this position. I'm not going to go here just yet. I think I need to activate my queen. If I could get my queen to uh, h6, it's going to be very annoying. h6, king g8, rook e3, g3, bishop here. I have the check. I could also think about preventing bishop g4 if I'm prevented from getting to h6 with something like h6. I could think about h3, flight square. Okay, I'm able to get there. There really should be something very soon here. Let's start with the check. This rook is completely out of play, so you either go here or go back into a pin. There's also this knight move. I'm going to go with this. Now the, now the bishop is pinned, I'm threatening knight here. If the bishop defends this square, he'll end up being overloaded. So I can play knight b6 with tempo on the queen. There's also knight g6 stuff. Oh, the king's running for the hills now. Ooh, maybe that was best. Let me hit the queen. She's short on squares. And then maybe just uh, do what? Here? Hmm. My knight's going to get tracked down. Let me do this, and then I want to get in. Yeah, I saw that. You know, I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to give up my knight. There had to have been something better. I'm giving up my knight, but now I'm, with this, I'm focusing on c5. There's no mate on g2. So that's a check. I could pick up f6. Probably should do that soon. I'm definitely going to do it now since it's a check. This is going to get broken down now. This is definitely going to be taken now. Definitely. That's going to be it. The queen is gone. Should be leading to mate soon. He'll be, I'll be entering with another piece. King here, I guess. We check and then get this one in with check. This should be leading to mate. Soon. All right, they resign. All right, good game. Let's go back and let me, like I did before, go into the game history real quick and bring the game up like this so it's a bigger board suggestions out of this opening hmm where did it I mean there might already be well this this is just really weird I think I think you have to recapture if even if the intention was a6 I think I'm really in a spot to take the knight and hang on to this pawn with knight a4. So whether or not this was a mouse slip, I think if a6 was really the intention, I don't even think a6 is the right right idea. a5 definitely is not. Um, but what should you do? Probably just pick the pawn back up and then come back here to cope with the pin. Yeah, I, th I think that's what you need to do at this point. Um, I may, again, I might really be ready to hang on to that pawn. It really crumbles here fast when 
you're having to run in reverse, do moves like queen to c8 stuff, backing up of the bishop, the structure is damaged. I mean, it's irreparable at this point. So um, this is really the main point, and you have to do something different here. Bishop c5, I believe, is it. Um... I mean, what's what's the downside with bishop c5? Was there some fear of bishop takes knight, queen takes, and then knight takes here? Maybe. But um, your queen is very active on f6. I will need to invest the bishop pair if I want to go pawn hunting. And... Uh, you have a very active bishop too, like bishop takes c5, if I'm taking the knight, queen recaptures, knight takes d5, I'm hitting the queen, I'm threatening a fork, bishop takes, queen takes, I'm on the bishop, yeah, and then there's actually rookie one stuff, so I wonder if there is still some, if that would be a good reply I would have, if bishop takes pawn, bishop takes knight, is that in fact annoying? Maybe so. Hmm. Bishop takes c5, bishop takes knight. If I'm even going with this, I could go with a more positional route. Trying to focus on the, the, the isolated pawn, controlling the square right in front of it on d4, knight e2, d4, or move the bishop knight b5 to d4, something to that effect. Um, bishop takes pawn, however, and bishop takes knight, queen takes knight. If I go pawn hunting, knight takes pawn. I'm on the queen. And I'm threatening a fork. Bishop takes, queen takes, and now my queen will be hitting the bishop on c5. Initially, I thought there might be the queen coming down here to pick up the pawn, but... In this variation with these captures, the position's opening up and you're still not castled, so I wonder if we need to even go a step back. I wonder if I wonder if this is something to consider. Or actually at this point, after I castle <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm actually quite stuck here. This is a. Uh, I'm not sure the exact move order. I know there, there's got to be something quite. Uh, quite simple here that you could be doing to not get into too much trouble like this. Huh. Let's see. Five takes. Takes. Knight out, knight here. This can't be bad, can it really? Like, knight f6, you give a check, so what? You block it, I don't know how bad that could be, right? Maybe bishop here, maybe there's an improvement at, at this point. What about bishop e7 right now? Bishop e7. Maybe bishop e7 is an idea too, but I'm still seeing, I mean, I've had trouble even on the black side with this. I've had trouble with um, the queen and the rook bat, like forming a battery on the e-file, and I'm still not castled and kind of stuck here, but maybe this move is better. Bishop to e7. And if I capture, maybe, maybe you could castle, maybe you could still just recapture, and if I give check, you come back. This might be something else to look into. Instead of deploying the queen bishop, the one who has many more options than this guy. With the e-file being completely opened, this is a priority, isn't it? A top priority. Get castled, so I think moving your bishop to e7 is going to be the better decision. As you can hear in my voice, I'm not 100% on this, but just throwing out a suggestion at this move here. I think bishop e7, focusing on castles, is going to be better. 
it does start to it it's just too much to deal with structurally structurally um, busted kink position material that sort of thing so that uh, these are the main points before it gets out of control right here the development stage okay um, good game pragma Thank you.